So, so far, we learned uh, from Sinop Tao Chokki, regular punch. Now, in our system, yes, regular punch comes from hip and elbow, right? So, okay, so Sinop Tao Chokki, you know it's everything normal, connect with hip, elbow, and then with the shift, we'll punch forward, all right? This is the uh, first two level uh, Sinop Tao Chokki. Now, when you're beauty, we start to build something called it's a short distance power, yes. which is a normal punch, right? But then at the end, then you have action, yes. right? So it's normal punch, but at the end, now you want to build something that very close range, all right? So when you from a normal, you already have a regular punch, right? You already hit regular punch. But then if you do beauty, you start to develop something they call a wrist action. So when you hit the first one, and then you can what in punch me right from there. Already hit to someone, you just add some action. And that little action will cause it another strike. Yes. So it's like in one punch, but they have two strikes. Yes. That, that's what I mean, right? Yes. That's so at I mean. the end, uh, when you're punching, are you moving your wrist up or moving back? Right. Yes. Okay, so to practice that, I need one more practice that part, right? You are, when you are, so you see this from here, all right? So normally you punch one. The action one here is you shift, a little shift, and then transfer what you have left right to the last move. How your hand come out? Because when you hit, you do some extra, it's not much. So that extra you want power, you have to be also now, you know, also including the little shift. So that make it strong, right? That's, that's what I mean, oh, right. right? So it's not this, and then the extra, nothing there. But you want extra, you look at my hip, my hip you would that kind of extended and it transfer to your wrist and your wrist at the same time keep that little last right last force oh, right yes. that, that's what it's so when you do it in the uh, hg4 um, it's just the three and the punches not the one so the, are you still shifting when you do no no so from the bg4 idea of the bg4 is it's not develop that but not in the actual strike yet you develop that through your wrist that's why you see all your wrist kind of thing uh, when you get that wrist flicking action, right? Okay, wrist flicking action, number one. Yes? yes. Alright. So from there, okay, your wrist is already getting very loose, yes? So what happens is later on when you hit that part already there and you have your wrist flick, could be like that. Right? And that's it, it's good. Or you already striking already and you have your wrist do that little action. Right? So that is extra one. When the more you develop your wrist, you have that kind of uh, Right, you have that kind of power. Uh, it's not only also a one in punch and three in punch. You also have a purpose of uh, we call the uh, the wrist flick action. For example, you see the move here, right? You see that move here. Yes. So that also have another purpose, not only for the short power, but it also for for example, when you punch it and then I do block again, it go and okay, I go three already, right? So you notice that when that one come in, I just Ah, it's like a little, it's a little small and quick action make that one bounce off my face. Yes. So that's why you have a little like that. Oh, okay. Right? Ah, so sometimes a very small little, but it create a little, uh, uh, a little bouncing force. So they're bouncing the, the punch away from your face. Yes. That's why you see the wrist have that. Okay? So, so that's why, with that exercise, you not only with chunk heaven, in any kung fu guy, uh, if you look at all the system that you have, this. sometimes that action here come from the Kung Fu, where they do the full up and down. Yes. So what ideally is this application, if you look at some very long traditional uh, wind jump, you will see they have in the form, you have something like this. Yes, I like to see this. Yeah, yes. see that kind of before? It might be like the wrist, but all the sub wind jump have a full arm. So idea is the same. I need to develop any call flicking action. Uh, something drop down and just something up and just like that. Right? Down, up, down, up. So you develop like a call pausal, pausal is it is a wrist action to deflect. Okay, that's one. And then you have right to left. Right to left. Again, wrist action. Or you see that application when they use it. For example, you see uh, again, uh, a hand from here, yeah, a hand from here, or punch, yeah, love this. Or punching, they have that. 
Yes. Yeah. You see that one? Yes. Uh, so that will flip same thing. Will flip off. Yeah. Also, that from here, I don't know if you see IP Man movie. So when they hit uh, Mike Tyson and he yes. jumps yes. inside it. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Then, yes. So that little, okay, that also have a perfect mission. What kind of look? Yes. Right to the eyes, right? Yes. So just idea of this, they want to be loose. Little flick to the eyes. Yes. Like, you can say distracted in Kung Fu. If anything that distracts you, so then it makes you kind of confused, right? Yes. So all those is in there, I see. right? Not just only for the strength, they have many different purposes. Yes. Right? So that's why you see the first part, you see that. Yes. Left and right. Uh, and if you see how form did both small action, you see some of the form, back to very old, they make it like this. They make it like a lot more uh, full motion. Yeah, this is actually come from the snake. Okay. Ah, so like a snake, right? Yes. Right? There you go. So you can practice move in our form, small wrist. Alright? Left and right. And you can practice this when the whole thing. Like this. Right here. So if you see uh, uh, your wrist that way, wrist is let the wrist go. That go. Wrist go. Wrist. So if you see it like this, okay? Time when you see traditional kung fu, that moves with you like that as well, right? So idea, they training your wrist to make it flexible, quick, and powerful. So you can add now whatever we had before from the elbow, and you add that a little one up any time you need, right? To so create a short striking, meaning one in or two in the count. Yes. Is that exact? Yes. Okay. But go back to the music again. Try to get the form now too. All right. So now. Sink it, they call B mark. When you do the B mark, you make sure that it's not on your toe. It's not on your toe, they are flat. Alright? The purpose of this is I step or I take the guy down. I don't want to go with my toe up, right? Uh, so let's move here. That. That. Good. Yes. Okay. From there, right from here, right from there, and that one at the end. Okay, good. So that two move in one. Good. Then you have that two, three. One, two, three. And your thumb is moving when you're doing this one. This one, after you do that, and then now lineage at the end, you have the little finger, right? What happened from this move, purpose is try to be uh, loosen up the, the, the thing from here, right? So that's why you want to be soft, make sure this part is. It looks like everything, thumb and everything, right? So not to do that to ten, you want it to, okay? This part has to be loose it up. Yes. So your thumb is moving to the mole as well. Everything move. Okay, so when you practice it at home, for example, you take your right hand, put it under here, and you want to do a finger, and you feel the bend down here for working. Yes. It's moving, moving. If you do this, whatever it is, and not move, Okay, you're not effective, right? Idea, you want this kind of, all right? This kind of uh, a warm up on this part, or you want this part developed. So when you go to Chi you control it. The guy move this part, give you a signal, right? That's why you want to do. Yeah, soft and then, okay. then you turn, hold, and wrist. One, two, three. One. Up, left, right, left, and the elbow. Okay, and you see that make sure that it pass that elbow because the hand will trap here. So if you move here, there's a word to make sure that, yeah, well, make sure they push you, they put you really like this. Okay, push my elbow, like here. That's work. You have to stick all the way here. So this one can stop with the hand. So if the guy can go in here, you make sure that. Yes. Uh, your arm. Yes. So that's why you say really close to the armpit that possible in case they track you very close here. Right? You still be able to make it all the way there. Yeah. That's, that's, that's. So in the form, you want that really all the way this. Yeah? Trap. You can sneak it in, push. Same on the other side. This is from here. This is forward. Good. Both hand even. Okay, slow down. Same thing. Right. Left.